And again, you're going to find different pieces at different camps. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build your own staff in No Man's Sky. So in the new F Echoes update, they've added a new multi-tool type called the staff. Very, very cool. They're very, very awesome looking. I mean, look at this thing. It looks so cool. However, before we get too deep into it, guys, you have to do your autophage the robotic missions. You have to do them because it is a requirement that you have the polyphonic core in order to do it. So you need to get this item from the missions that you get from Echoes, from the autophage missions. So definitely do that first before you try to do, the, you look for your staff. You need to have those things first. So once you have that, let's go check for a base a camp so it doesn't matter what system you're in you you can be in a corvax you could be in a geck or a viking or whatever it does not matter what system you're in just to show you that it doesn't matter like i'm in a geck regular system this has nothing special about it it's just a geck system you don't need to be in a particular one but you do need again to have your polyphonic core let's refill it and then fire it off so we can locate a camp. So there's a camp over here. Let's go to the camp over here. Now, the key thing to keep in mind is that every camp is going to be different. So if you don't like this camp, like when you go down here and you, you see the, the different pieces for their staff, if you don't like it, go to a different camp. There are going to be different pieces at different camps. So keep that in mind. It's not based on the system or anything like that. It's based on the location of the camp. So let me land here, possibly. The other thing you're gonna have to keep in mind is that you need to buy pieces to make your staff. And in order to do that, you need to get what they're calling moats. So here you go. There you are. It's a cool little camp. Look at this. They're just walking around. So in order to buy the pieces to make your staff, you need to find, where is it at? You need to find these void moats. These are only get, you can only get those from doing missions for these amazing, uh, awesome new robot companion or robot uh, race, the autophage. So go to any camp. You could talk to anybody there and offer assistance. And they'll say, hey, look, I want four ion batteries. And if you give me that, I will give you 319 nanites and I will teach you three words in the autophage language and autophage standing. So there's no payment. I'm okay with that. I would rather get some moats. So let's talk to this guy. They're all going to be different. They all have different missions to give you. Offer assistance. There we go. Autophage standing. Autonomous positioning unit times three. And autophage words. No one wants to give me moats. Okay. Fine. What about you? You want to give me some moats, buddy? I need some moats. Offer assistance. Uh, vi uh, vice ice cream. What the crap? And auto fish. Okay, guys. I promise you they do give you moats doing this. I don't know why it's not. I'm getting Viking ice cream and stuff like that. But they will give you missions to do that. But once you have the moats, come over here to these cool little terminals. The auto fish synthesis terminal. And in these things, you can actually exchange your void moats for different pieces. Like you can get all of the cosmetic like heads and the body parts to customize your character if you want. But you can also get like the reclaimed claw head, a uh, voltaic component, the concentric transducer. These are all pieces to your staff. Keep in mind, you're going to need a backbone, which is like your uh, your stick. You're going to need a core and you're going to need a head. You need three pieces in order to make your staff. I'm going to grab all of these and then go back into this menu and do staff assembly. So now we can grab three different pieces. So we have, these are all our heads. So if I wanted to, I can grab, why are these separated? Okay. You grab that one, this one. And yeah, radiant one. So this is going to change color depending on your location. 
this is where it becomes really important to find a good camp that you like because these colors are dependent on the camp so that's what it looks like but i mean you're like eh, i don't like that i'll take this one off and i want to switch it out for this one that one looks cooler there you go see so there you go that's the staff i like right we're gonna assemble it and now we know it is a b level which is really really cool these are all the pieces in here but again we have another stopping point because if you're like eh this doesn't look good i want something better than a b class let's go back what if i change this out will that give me something different let's pop that in there let's see if that works so let's go to assemble and it's a B class. Doesn't look like it changed very much. That's okay. Let's change out this one, the head. Let's put in the cool robot looking head, the reclaimed head. Let's see if that changes anything. Oh, it gave me some more uh, Blaze Javelin. It's still a B class, which is good. But now I have Blaze Javelins instead of the other ones I had. So it will change depending on your pieces. So like if you go all out, you just change everything. Let's change it all out. We'll do this one, Reclaim Claw. We'll do the grip and let's do a salvage shaft. It's a completely different one. Let's assemble that. Totally different setup. So it will change depending on the pieces you put in there. There you go. So that is how you build it. And again, you're going to find different pieces at different camps. Sometimes you'll find, you know, a limited amount if it's a really low level camp. Sometimes you'll find a really cool one. That has a whole bunch, so you can just keep scanning for different camps if you don't like this one. The other thing is, the uh, staff is upgradable at the multi-tool kiosk. So let me show you what I mean by that. So, if you find that really cool uh, staff that you really love, like you're like, dude, this is my favorite one. My multi-tool. This is my favorite staff of all time. It's the coolest looking one. However, it's only a B class. It's kind of broken. It doesn't have very many slots on it. It's not the best, like, class, but it's really cool looking. You can literally upgrade it at just like any other multi-tool over here at the multi-tool upgrade station. So come over here. It's going to be a little pricey. It's not, it's the same price as any other multi-tool as well. So you can install a multi-tool expansion slot just like any other multi-tool right there. If I want to remember, look at this is my staff that I'm improving. It's not another multi-tool that I'm just cheating with. There you go, if you want to. Or you can say, hey, look, it's a B level. I want this thing to be an S class multi-tool. So I can upgrade it. It's gonna cost 25,000 to go from a B to an A, just like any other multi-tool, it's the same price. So now I have an A class, there you go. And if I wanna go even higher, go, you know what? This thing deserves to be an S class. Let's get in here. I don't have enough nanites. Oh no, you need 50,000 nanites to go from an A to an S. So just a heads up. If you want to go from a C class all the way up to an S class, it's going to cost you 85,000 nanites. So be careful. Be ready for that. But yeah, these are amazing, amazing staffs. Hopefully you guys are excited about it and getting your own cool staff. Let me know. Again, you guys can share screenshots on the Discord. The link down below in the description to the Discord. Go over there and show me some of your cool, co you know, collections and things that you've built. Let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video.